Greetings all, Fanny here for Pisces' daily oracle message. Pisces, I hope you're doing okay today. There is a lot of energy going on with the eclipse. I couldn't even wear my crown or bracelets today because those are amplifiers for my power. And it was too much for me. Like, I, I literally could not deal with everything that was going on. Yesterday I was having a horrible headache and I had to push through for the readings for you guys. I feel a lot better today. Like, I have a lot of energy going on still personally. But enough about me. We're talking about you, my love. So the first two cards I want to pull up to you to get come here is Dragon's Lair and Peaks of Joy Reverse. If you are not feeling joy in this place, if you are not feeling happiness, if you are not feeling love, if you are not feeling peace, you need to leave it. Please remember that you are coming to life, coming to your own, coming to your power. Look at how brilliant and bright the light that she's holding in her hand is. That is your power to do anything and everything. So come home to yourself. You've been on a huge odyssey and you are exhausted. You might actually feel exhausted today. Let yourself rest, my love, because where you are going next is going to be huge. The journey you will be taking and embarking on is going to be one that is meant for you alone. And you're not going to be on this island all by yourself, trying to control everything, trying to take care of everything for everyone else. You're not going to have to do that anymore, my love, because it was never your responsibility to mother every single person in your life. Maybe you are a mother. And yes, obviously, you the children that you have are important. But this storm is ending. And you are not the storm that is going to disappear when the chaos dies down. You are the sky that will break a dawn of an entire new day, my love. So remember that not everything that glitters is gold. There is illusion. There is deception. There are people that will offer you things that are not meant for you simply because they want to keep you trapped and keep you stuck. Think of this like... So imagine you're trying to go on a diet and to make yourself healthier and all of a sudden someone brings in a whole bucket of fried chicken and a cake. That's not respectful or supportive of you. That's someone that's trying to keep you trapped in where you are because it's easier to control you there. That is just like, I, there's a specific word for it and it's, it's similar to someone gaslighting, but... Uh, God, that's going to bother me because I, like, I know that there's a specific word for a person that like constantly offers you the substances that you are trying to move away from. And it is very similar to gaslighting energy, but I know that that's not the word. Oh, that's going to bother me. I'm going to move on. Maybe I'll, Maybe it will come to me. Okay, if you are at rock bottom, the bone collector wants you to engage in your inner power to understand where you need to go. Because you're not looking for someone to rescue you. You're going to save yourself. And so look at your inner divine. Take note of your inner power. Because look at this aura, this halo around their head. That is their crown chakra and the connection to the higher realm that they have. And that is your connection. Your connection to the magic stream will not only heal the hurt that you have gone through, but help you make a decision that is meant for you. The sacred pool here is no longer tainted with other people's energies, thoughts, and emotions. This is being filtered out and cleared for you to serve the greatest and highest good of yourself, of the collective that you want to align with, and the person that you are becoming. Pisces, you are incredible. Pisces, you are powerful. If you're feeling that you are not moving right now, Look around you and see actually how much things are changing, how much you are changing. And give yourself credit for everything that you have done. Because you might be overlooking some massive amounts of work that you have done in your life. Yes, everything is indeed out of control. And yes, everything is indeed falling apart. But my love, a phoenix must burn to rise again. Things have to come apart to come back together. Think of it like a Lego tower that gets smashed. Now you can rebuild you can make something entirely new. A gentle gardener not only is able to protect the treasure that they have, they feed their life with good, positive thoughts. They nurture their world around them. Whenever I see eggs, I just see potential because you have no idea what that could become. That could be a bird. That could be a snake. 
That could be a dragon. That could be a phoenix. You have no idea what the seeds of creation that you are nurturing right now will become. And so please feed it with good, positive thoughts. Feed yourself with good, positive things. Eat good things. Drink good water. Now, I'm not saying that you can't enjoy a Coke. You can't enjoy coffee. Good Lord knows that I can't go a day without coffee. But there's also a time and a place for everything. And understanding that your body is a temple and it is the only one that you get in this realm. So take care of it because you're not going to get to upgrade to the next model until you return to source. And you're not near ready to go back there, my love, because you have so much left to do. You have so much left to become. You have work to do still for yourself, for the people that, around you. Yep. Making a choice was flipped over in the deck as I was readjusting things. So yeah, you have a decision to make and you need to make one that falls in alignment with your heart's will and what you need to do so you are not stuck anymore, my love. I love you so much, Pisces. And I'm incredibly proud of you for everything that you have done. And I hope you have a beautiful day and you rest.